G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be doing in this video is I'm going to prove to you that 2 is equal to 1. Okay, so you might be thinking there's no way you can prove this, but sit back, I'll show you. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use two letters to do this. They're going to be A and B here. And we're going to say that these guys are equal to one another. So A could be equal to 1, B could be equal to 1. Alright, so let's start off with this. We're going to say that A is equal to B. Alright, I think we can agree on that one. The first thing I do this equation is I am going to multiply it by A. So if we were to do this, A times A is A squared. And A times B is AB. Now to both sides, what we're going to do is we are going to take away b squared. So maybe you want to do that and see what we get. Uh, if you get a squared and take away b squared, you're going to get a squared, take away b squared. And this side, you're going to get ab, take away b squared. The next thing I'm going to do, or I'm going to get you to do, is we are going to factorise this. Okay, we're going to factorise this. Alright, maybe you can give an attempt at doing this. What you'll notice is this is the difference between two squares here. So a squared take away b squared becomes the following. It becomes a take away b and a plus b. And if you don't believe that, expand it out. That's what uh, this becomes here. This one here, you're going to notice this side of the equation that we have a b on both of these. So we can put a b here. And if I divide b into a b here, I get an a. And if I divide b into b squared here, I get a b here. Okay, so this is where this has been factorised. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both of these sides by the common factor, which is a take away b. We're going to divide, and I'll put that in brackets, a take away b. So why don't you do that and see what you get. If you divide this side by a take away b, you're going to get a plus b. And on this side, if you divide by a take away b, you're going to get b. Alright, so what do we know? We know that a is equal to b. So if a is equal to b, I could say a here is b. Okay, they're the same thing. a is equal to b, so I'm going to substitute b for a. So b plus b is equal to b. That means 2b is equal to b. And if you now divide both sides by b, what do you get? You're going to get this proof here that, indeed, 2 is equal to 1 proven. Hey, what do you think of that? All right. Okay, I've proven it. Eh? I've done the impossible. I have shown that 2 is equal to 1. Okay, but is it true? And straight away, you're going to know intuitively that 2 is not equal to 1. Of course, 2 is not equal to 1. So why don't you go through here and see where I have made a, a bit of a fallacy, a bit of an error, a bit of a sneaky sort of bit of maths. So pause it, see if you can go through and find it. Okay, did you find out where that was? Alright, I'm going to give you a bit of a hint what's going on here. It's what's known as a division by zero fallacy, okay? Somewhere along here, we have divided by zero. And as you know, you can't divide by zero. It's not possible. Uh, you do that on a calculator, you're going to get an error, okay? You can't divide by zero. Uh, the universe just does not like that, okay? You can't see how many nothings are in something. It just doesn't make sense. So, where do we divide by zero here? At this step, we multiplied by a, so we didn't divide by zero. At this step, we took away b squared. Okay, This one we factorised, so we just rearranged the equation. This one we divided by a take away b. So this we did divide here, but did we divide by zero? Well, let's substitute in our values here and we'll find out. So we've divided by, and a is equal to 1, and b is equal to 1, so 1 take away 1. And if you have a look here, that means we're divided by zero. At this step, as we've gone from this step to this step, we're divided by zero. And that's caused what's known as a division by zero fallacy. Interesting, good for tricking people, but also something that you want to watch out for when you're doing your maths, okay? If you're playing around with algebra or anything like this, it's a really, really common, easy mistake to make. There's a few little uh, fallacies, a few little mistakes that people make when they're doing algebra. And so th this is one of the reasons I'm showing you this video, not just because it's, uh, I've always found them a little bit fun, but also I think it's um, it's a good thing to know because then you know to watch out for it, okay? And you know that's a source of error. So tell us what you thought of that, okay? Uh, anyway, great to be making videos. See you next time. Bye.